tap an already active tool to find the marker and airbrush tool in the brush menu. Note that for all the dynamics of these brushes to work, you'll need a stylus with pressure and tilt support. The chisel tip marker reacts to pressure and velocity by altering the opacity of the stroke. Additionally, you can adjust the mark's width by turning the stylus in relation to the tablet. Some styli also support rotation along its own axis by twisting. If you're used to working with Copic markers or similar, you'll feel right at home with the Copic color wheel. For the time being, marker strokes and concepts don't blend together very well, but you can get a similar effect by combining it with the airbrush. Select the airbrush, pick up a color from the color wheel or using the color picker, and apply the airbrush on top. Just like the marker, the airbrush also reacts to pressure and velocity by varying its opacity. I like to pick a narrow width and use it for highlights like I've done with this couch here. With a wider thickness, you can use it to apply broad gradients. 